but I felt horribly stuck in my life, as if I could never move forward or get free from the growing pain of anxiousness, um, from growing pain and anxiousness that was welling up within me. And I found myself sitting in a counseling office, sobbing my face off, and like an old dream, the memories that I had repressed for years finally resurfaced. My grandfather had molested me as a child, and I was assaulted by, sexually assaulted by a male student in grade seven. I was a naturally outgoing kid, but after the abuse, um, I caved into myself and I became trapped in this like unnatural, unconfident, um, broken little girl that couldn't even ask for a pencil from somebody else. And so once that um, this is all sorted, the real journey of healing began. So I personalized my journey here and my first step was feeling the pain. When I went into shutdown mode there as a kid, I lost who I was as a person. And then um, I kind of became the identity that the pain had made me become, basically. And when I let go of all the pain, suddenly I was sitting there and I'm like, well, who am I? Anyways, like, who am I without this pain, right? Find, finding what's getting in my way, identifying it and getting over it. I can't stop dreaming or give up hope. Change comes when you want it bad enough. Sometimes you have to lose to gain. I've seen a glimmer of hope at the way that things are going to be, so keep moving. I've seen that things, I've seen things that could have torn me apart, but I'm going to keep moving. Accepting the things that cannot change and changing the things I can. I, just, I discovered that I had been trying to live up to expectations that weren't even mine. And I needed to be free enough to express who I was in the present moment. And a big part of emerging for me was getting very real and very honest in my sharing and accountability. The more honest I was, the more effective the healing became. So step three, which to me was embracing where I was at on the way to where I was going. Freedom to move, to move around with less baggage emotionally and physically was essential for me to truly embrace who I was and where I was at the present moment. Step three for me took a long, long time, and that led me to my current step, and this is now my mantra, to manifest outwardly the healing that, has, uh, that I've received inwardly. Okay, it's January the 8th, 2017, and my video about my New Year's goals <laughs> is number one to lear learn the guitar. And my goal has been to practice for an hour every day and so far so good was I've to worked. use every spice in the spice rack at least once. Another goal of mine is to put away ten dollars a day. The first week of the year really sets the year the tone for the year and so if if I'm really going to be honest with myself and and um have these goals, then I need to actually work on accomplishing them right from the start of the year. One of my goals was to work out four times a week, and so I made an effort and worked out four times the first week of January. It's to manifest outwardly the healing that's taking place on the insides. Um, February the 7th, uh, 2017, I've got $10 in a jar every day for just over a month, which is a cool plus. Um, I've been working out four times a week, and the guitar playing has been happening not as much as I would like. Um, but I am still doing it every once in a while, so um, usually two to three times a week. I have to... I really have to push myself right now to uh, continue to work out. Uh, the novelty of working out four times a week is starting to wear off and it's gotten colder again and I can't believe how much of a difference it is when it's cold like to work out. Um, it's just a lot harder to motivate myself. Um, is that I've I plowed through a really tough week of workouts last week. I barely made it. I'm just exhausted. Like, I'm tired. 20th, I believe, today. Um, I'm out on a hike. It's a beautiful, beautiful freaking day. Um, getting back on my goals, stuff like that. I had um, a recent 
uh, encounter with the guy that um, really got along with, um, got close to really fast. And I am in this awkward zone of letting him go and believing God for the next one. Um, so funny how my story has been so completely the opposite of so many girls. I was listening to this YouTube video last night of this girl who was getting asked out constantly and uh, was uh, sexually active and blah 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 and then when she met her man it was like they didn't even kiss until they were married and she had to take a three year break from all these relationships and my story is completely the opposite. I've been single my freaking whole life and never been able to break through with a guy, never had one really ask me out and um, uh, and now, now that the healing has come, all of a sudden there's these guys that have been coming into my life that that um, uh, aren't my ideal, uh, but yet at the same time they're breaking through that 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 um, isolation that I have been in, and um, I'm having a, a like moments to be able to express the things that have been so bottled up inside of me for so freaking long. Um, so I'm, ch I'm challenged to, uh, continue to believe for my husband that if God can do this once with a guy that, a random guy that I just connected with within, you know, an hour of meeting him, I felt like I knew him my whole life. Um, it's hard to let somebody like that go, but I, like, like I told his mom, if it happened once, it can happen again. And I just, uh, I just need to keep believing. So anyways, I am... Reporting to you uh, from the, one of the trails in Lakla Poi Park or whatever. Um, soggy out, but I am back on my New Year's goals. I have two workouts done and it's Monday, so that's good. If God is telling you to be obedient in something seemingly unrelated to what you really want, just be obedient, persevere, and get the breakthrough. Don't give up part way through. Leave your pain behind you. There are worse that I've gained and lost within myself. However, each time that I pick myself back up, those boxing gloves and fight, I slowly gain more, more ground. It's not over until I give up and I'm not giving up. Okay, so it's March 26, um, 2017. I am on my third month of my New Year's goals. The, this is really difficult like the the it's tough to make a goal stick with it and work on it constantly had i known that this goal was going to take this much work i'm not too sure if i would have like ventured out on it um for an entire year <laughs> because my pants weren't falling off my, my clothes are feeling better fitting better um i'm happier with how I look. I feel like there's a reason to continue with the goal. I'm remembering where I came from and even though it's not a huge huge change it's still actually quite a lot more change than I thought you know. I haven't played guitar in a whole month. I'm planning on getting back on that in April um, but I will be moving here pretty quickly so that's also going to be a priority. Um, life you know gets in the way. March I know better. I, like I knew that she wasn't gonna have enough money for this month's rent. I knew that already. That's why I gave my my months my notice, and I'm like I'm out because I can't cover these people. Like this is not gonna happen. This is not my problem. The unfortunate part is for me is is that it's just been like one hit after another after another after another yet another bad week at work. Um, it's been a while since that's happened. But it still sucks when it does, and it really was hard on myself. And basically, I had a meltdown because I was like, "This, is, like, I have not struggled this much in a long time, at having these multiple things, at one after another, of expenses and demands on my my time and my money and people and issues and and crap and and um." And, and I, I tend to seem to, like, it's just chaotic. My life is chaotic lately. And, um, and you know, here I am gunning for, for breakthrough, and I'm hitting, I feel like 
um, the picture that always comes to my mind, a video game where the little monkey is at the top of the maze and he's just tossing barrels down and dude's trying to m work his way up and he's having to jump over all these barrels and and I, I'm like, I was frustrated with myself because I'm like, gosh man, um, it's affecting me. It's affecting me spiritually. I'm, 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 I'm tired. I'm worn out by it. And um, it's wearing me down. As strong as I am, I'm being worn down. And um, and so it's, there's there's just multiple things that are going on. And um, uh, March has been a, a kind of a disaster for me, even with my goals emotionally too. And I'm struggling. I'm struggling to maintain my goals. If I had goals, or if I had known that the goals that I set for myself would require this much dedication and hard work, I'm not sure I would have set them in the first place. All I can say is that it takes a lot of work to work out this healing journey, but I'm learning to do it to, to be consistent. And I'm doing it so that God gets the glory. I'm doing it for my own good health, and I'm doing it because there's something to be learned in the process even if I fail.